Hi everyone, this is Dave from Daily Tech TV with a new Q&A session for you. Now before I answer today's question, for those of you new to the Q&As, what I do in these videos is I answer your questions every single day on the Daily Tech TV channel. And if you want your question answered, all you need to do is leave it as a comment in the comment section below. Now I don't answer every single question because some of them I've answered before, but anything that catches my eye I will answer in a future video. Now also, in this particular q and I'm actually going to be answering questions that I've got on my screen here of the Galaxy Note 2. So I knew you would ask in the comments, so I just thought I'd let you know, yes, this is a Galaxy Note 2, and it is perfect for reading these questions off. The size of the text is just right. So anyway, on with today's Q&A. And this question comes from Perfect Forehand. Why does Windows Phone require much lower specs to run fluidly as opposed to Android? Well, that's a great question. It's all down to the programming. If you look at the Windows Phone 7.5 or even Windows Phone 8 UI, it is a lot simpler, a lot more solid colors. Uh, there is still quite a lot going on, but it's a much more streamlined operating system. And because it's much more streamlined, it requires a lower specification handset to run it on. So when we saw Windows Phone 7 and Windows Phone 7.5 launched, every phone was a single core uh, processor, more or less running at one gigahertz. It's only with Windows Phone 8 that we found dual core processors. And it does run very, very smoothly, and it's all done to really good coding and really working with the hardware that they've got to work with. So they really do make sure that the code is optimized for their handsets. And thus, they don't need a quad-core uh, processor phone to run things nice and fluidly. That's not to say they're underpowered. They're still very, very good phones. Um, but that's how they do it. And with Google Android, don't forget, there's a lot of widgets and different things that are going on on the phone. So that does affect performance. And with Google Android, Various manufacturers put the, their own overlay on top of Google Android, such as HTC Sense, for example, and that affects performance as well. Sometimes we see things stuttering just when they're transi transitioning between screens. So I hope that answers your question. Low spec phones because the UI is much simpler and really, really optimized for the handset that it's running on. That's what it boils down to. So great question. If you've got any new questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I will see you all in the next video.